Johnson High School. The final score tonight, Dayton Bulldogs 65, and the Johnson Crusaders 45. And what was a nine-point lead after the third quarter turned into a 20-point romp in the fourth quarter. I'm here with senior co-captain David Lissy. And David, you look to get the ball down low to Brandon Giordano tonight. Was that part of the strategy? Yeah, uh, Brandon's one of our strong players down low. He's got, at times, he's got good hands. But when he's done, he's unstoppable. He doesn't miss many times at all down low. He's consistent down there. So if he gets that ball down there, he's deadly. Nobody can stop him down there. Tell me about the first half. You scored 19 of your game-high 25 in the first half, and you looked like you were shooting more in the first half. Yeah, the first half they were giving me the outside shot. It was there. Second half they put more pressure on. We saw that the down low game was there, so we went to that, and that looked like it was the best part. Of the, that that's a, it was a turning part of the game, and we went down low. We just started to dominate down there. Okay, Dave, thanks. David Lissy, one of the co-captains for the Crusaders, finished with a game, game high 25 points. Joining me now is six foot three junior Brandon Giordano, and Brandon, the tallest player on the court tonight and you got the ball down low, you were effective down low against the Crusaders. Well, uh, most of the year we've been trying to get down low, but uh, I'm going to get most of my shots off, of, off the rebound, and this has been a good game. I get most of the points on the rebound, off the guys down low. So. How important was this win tonight for the Bulldogs? Coming off the two-game winning streak last week against Milburn and Roselle Catholic, and as state playoff comes uh, up in the end of January, how important was beating Johnson tonight? The coach said, he said it was important, he said this whole week is important since uh, states are coming up. So we were just trying to play hard to so get to the states. And what the coach said. Okay, Brandon Giordano, just a junior, he has another year on the Dayton Bulldogs. He finished with 20 points tonight. Let me bring in your coach, Ray Yanches. And coach, an important win against the Johnson Crusaders tonight. Very important for us. We're six and four now, it's going to give us a shot at qualifying for the states. We need two more victories and we have five games left. So it gives us a good uh, percentage to work with and we're looking forward to more competition in the Mountain Valley Conference. Talk to me about the fourth quarter. It was a 49-40 game after the third quarter and that turned into a 20-point route as the game ended. What changes did you make in your offense uh, to open the game up like that? Well, not really offense. We just pulled our press off because we were getting beat down court and we thought we got a little tired. So we try to control the ball more and just penetrate and pass and get some easier shots and uh, just giving away points on trying to go too fast. I think we were pressing a little on offense, so slow it down, take the pressure off, rest the guys on defense a little more than what they were doing. Well, now that you've turned the corner and we head toward the midpoint of the season and on a three-game winning streak, how far can this Bulldog team go this year? Well, we're still working with a lot of different situations of inexperience. We didn't have too many seniors uh, who had played a lot. We've now moved a junior into the lineup, Giordano. We've moved Presmirsky into the lineup, a sophomore. And just this week, we came up with a freshman in the lineup, Andy Huber. So it's going to, how fast they develop and how they can handle the pressure is going to be the story for us. Okay, Coach, thank you very much. Nice win tonight. Coach Ray Yanch is picking up win number 314 in his, in his illustrious 26-year career at the helm of the Dayton Bulldogs. Coach, I guess we got what we expected tonight. Johnson couldn't control the boards, and they fell behind early. Yeah, the, the, the one-two scoring punch just looked like it was too much for them. Uh, Lissy, uh, Lissy from the outside and on the drive, and then uh, when he was missing, uh, Jordana do a great job getting up there and getting that second shot and just stuffing that thing home. So. Uh, I'm sure, uh, I don't have the final totals, but I'm sure between the two of them they had 40 anyway. About 45, I think. Okay. What, what does the Johnson Crusaders now, 1-9 and nine, on an eight-game losing streak, what can they do to turn this season around and hopefully maybe go 500 the rest of the way? Well, they didn't play that badly. Uh, you know, I thought they played well. Uh, they just got to keep plugging with it and get the monkey off your back. They get a win. Uh, maybe the confidence will grow a little bit. Uh, they didn't play badly at all tonight. They... <laughs> It was 20 points before you knew it. Okay, thanks. That'll wrap it up here from Johnson High School. An important Mountain Valley Conference win tonight for the Dayton Bulldogs, 65 to 45 over the Johnson Crusaders for the Coach Ed Lions and our crew here at TV3. Thanks for joining us. Good night.